Hey everyone, Krista Moser here at the Fat Quarter Shop and I'm going to show you a demo video on how to cut accurately. Fabric cutting is one of those things that will make or break a quilt. Especially if you're working with full length strips like the quilt behind me, Semaphore Stripes, we cut those pieces from full length strip sets. So if your cutting has gone awry at any point, it will really make your strip sets wonky and this can be really frustrating. So what I have here is just a half yard piece of fabric. I'm just going to determine that my salvages meet. So I just really want to make sure that they are parallel with each other and that in doing so, we'll scoot this out. In doing so, it's nice and flat. I press really well before cutting. So I've got my salvages. I've got my fold line. It looks very straight here. And now I'm going to do a cleanup cut. You see how uneven this edge is? That's common. When fabric comes off the bolt, once you've pressed it, if you pre-wash anything, you're going to need to do a cleanup cut. So we're just going to lay the ruler down here. Now I'm looking at the horizontal lines on my ruler. And I want to match those to the fold line of the fabric. I'm not so much paying attention to the lines on the mat. You can. But I'm not going to rely on that. So I'm just looking that my horizontal lines on the ruler match my fold line all the way across. And then I look here, did I clear both layers? Because that's going to be important. And it looks like it. All right, starting with the cutter off the fabric. So here against my ruler, I'm rolling it onto the fabric. And I'm just going to get to the end of my fingertips. And I'm just going to walk my hand forward. Just like that. Now the Creative Grids rulers are manufactured with a grip on the underside so they don't slide around. They really do grip the fabric. But just in case, that hand walking trick, that's going to be useful no matter what ruler you're, you're using. Now I have a good cleanup cut and I'm just going to turn that piece of fabric over just like this. I'm right handed, so I'm going to be cutting from the left to the right. Here again. I'm going to lay the ruler down. Now I think what I'll do is some two and a half inch strips here. Turn the ruler around because these black markings coming from this side give me that extra half inch. So here I am. I'm going to scoot it down so I can see one of my horizontal lines really goes parallel with that fold. My two and a half inch line cruises right up that fresh cut and I can kind of make an adjustment. And here's the other thing, the width of the, the line here is just about a thread, two threads, something like that wide. You want that line to be on the fabric, not over the fabric, but not off the fabric because even that little bit of an amount will change the, uh, the width of your strip. So here we have, I'm looking here, it goes all the way up. I walk my hand forward like this. What I'm looking for is where that fold was. You don't want to see any kind of a wow. No boomerangs, no V's. That's going to be the problem area. If you have anything like that, do a new cleanup cut where that becomes a perfect 90 degree angle. And that way you'll have success. When you're sewing strip sets together, if you get one or two that have a little wow in them, the whole strip set is compromised. So, and the narrower the strips, the easier it is to, uh, to, to get them off, to manipulate them. So here I'm going to do some one and a half inch strips. Just like that. I'll do another one. And about every three, three strips. You kind of want to make sure that you're still on the 90 degree angle. So I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to lay my ruler down here. My horizontal line, I want to see, have I gotten off anywhere? And I want to see if it matches. And I'll just do a new little cleanup cut. It was, it was just a little bit off, just a couple of threads. Over time, that would be enough. This way, 
This looks very straight. That's good. I hope that helped. Watch for my other videos on FatQuarterShop.com. And if you'd like more tips and tricks on sewing strip sets and other techniques in quilting, find me at KristenMoser.com.